All right, on tonight's episode of Python Poppy, we're back inside our generative AI course. Let's have a look at what we went over tonight. Now, last night, if you recall, we did start the process of going over the uh, sequential chaining. So we're going to pick up where we left off. Now we will be going over the understanding of a sequential chain. So far, we've been looking at the simple sequential chain. Now we will be looking at the sequential chain. The sequential chain has more power than the simple sequential chain, but we can keep the sequence of the different prompts. We will use this code to examine sequential chaining. So first we have our client equals open AI. You can see here, this is our client usual. Then we have our first prompt, our first prompt template name. Our prompt template is gonna have two parameters. One is gonna be input variables. The next one is gonna be template. Input variables is gonna be set to cuisine. The template is gonna be, I want to open a restaurant for cuisine. Suggest a fancy name for it. And then this is the object we created for that first prompt name chain and you can see the rest now we will focus on the output key which is here output key is the restaurant name now output key consists of our restaurant name now let's see how we will implement this output key in a notebook i'll show you that in a second now before we do that we will define one more prompt template this is our prompt template let me show you that this is the second one we want to create in our chain here and this is going to be a prompt template items and you can see that this one has two parameters also input variables is going to be restaurant name the template is going to be suggest some menu items for restaurant name so you can see this one is named restaurant name that's because it's going to be this right here this restaurant name whatever we generate as a restaurant name for this first template is going to get passed to the restaurant name in our second prompt and it's going to be used in this template here as the restaurant's name and then we created an object for it full items chain and you can see here the rest of it now whatever we name restaurant name will get will get passed from the first prompt to the second prompt like i just explained to you now we will import the uh, sequential chain not to be confused with the simple sequential chain we will import it like this from lane chain dot chains import sequential chain now we will run the final piece of code to see the answer this is the final code we will run that's going to go into our notebook it's going to be chain equals sequential chain chains equal name chain and full items chain chain equals means this is the items we want to chain together so it's going this is from our first prompt this is from our second prompt this has two parameters it's going to be input variables cuisine output variables are going to be the restaurant's name and the menu items so let me show you what that looks like inside of the notebook here so you can see we have here the beginning of it our client this is our first prompt and you can see we have our variables, our parameters. And you can see our input variables is the cuisine, the template. And you can see this is the object we created for it. And you can see the second prompt that we created in the chain. These are the parameters. The input variable is going to be restaurant name. The template suggests some menu items for restaurant name. You can see the object we created for that. This is where we imported the sequential chain that we're going to use to chain those items together. And this is the final piece of code that we actually going to use to chain that together and run it as one. So that's everything we run over tonight with the sequential chaining. We did actually start gearing up to go over the document loaders. I didn't put anything in a notebook for that yet. I just put a header for it. But I did start taking a little notes for it over here in the VS Code. Let me see if I can Let's see exactly what we have here. So you can see this is the document loader here that we're going to start going over. These are the document loaders, CSV, file directory, HTML, JSON, markdown, PDF. Now that's all I took for right now. We will pick it up first tomorrow. But of course, I will keep you posted every step of the way. But for now, this is the Python Poppy. You guys stay Gucci.